So as you guys can see, I'm back on the iPad. I hope that the quality is okay, but uh, I guess we'll see. It's it's not. Uh, in fact, I can't even save the video, you know, so it can be seen on my computer. I have to record the already recorded thing with my phone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick to my phone for now. Uh, luckily, before this piece of shit stopped working again, I was actually in the middle of making a different video, um, you know, with it. So I have some footage which I'll, uh, you know, now show you guys. So hopefully you still enjoy, uh, even though a part of it will be on my phone. But, you know, let's just enjoy the 60 FPS when we still can. Hello folks, Jerry here and welcome back to Racing Hours and as you guys probably know, I don't trade very often, in fact, I've stopped trading a few months ago, but uh, today I uh, found a card which I would really like to have and the guy wanted me to trade for it, so we came up with a deal. Now, I will be trading my uh, top 25 Camaro Z28 away, which hasn't sold for like a month, so I'm completely fine with it leaving uh, my garage. And we will be sharing it for a first generation Skyline RTR2, which are pretty rare to find these days. So uh, here is the guy. Let's see, is he in the lobby? Yes, he is. Now, I'm assuming that he's okay with going first. If he's not, we might have a bit of an issue because I don't know the guy. And obviously, I'm not gonna vouch for him. So, we're gonna go ahead, as you guys can see. This is the first generation of the RTR2, which uh, I think it was a turf car in... Uh, the October of 2014, one of the last cars, uh, you know, that actually had first place rims on it that weren't gold because, you know, um, in like early 2015, you would get uh, gold uh, rims on uh, first place cars. This was one of the last cars which, you know, didn't have that. So um, the first place version, uh, the first place rims on this car aren't available in the crates though. I don't know why. Seems like he's okay with going first, so that's quite cool. Anyways. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, the actual rating on that, the pick he sent me was uh, quite of uh, low quality. It seems like it is maxed with NOS, okay, you know, that uh, saves me the trouble of, you know, uh, people getting triggered when I put NOS on it. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tell him to join. Okay, now, um, in case you guys don't know, I still launch rate, like, I'll make, you know, a very, um, you know, very, I'll make uh, some very few exceptions if I really want a card such as this one, but generally, trading is a waste of my time, because, like, you know, uh, I used to trade back in the day when I had very few cards for sale, but now I have a lot of them, and pretty much, like, odds are that if you want to trade me something, I already have it, so there's not really any point, uh, you know, in me trading for it. So, uh, the guy is not here, um, we're just gonna wait, obviously. I mean, I'm assuming that he's join uh, that he's gonna join. Here they go, other than that, the R32 and the 70 uh, Camaro are actually uh, quite similar, you know, both uh, C-Class turf cars. I think that these are the only C-Class turf cars, along with the Firebird. And also, I mean, there were turf cars at around the same time. Now, obviously, I'm more of a JDM guy, so I would, you know, obviously uh, rather have the freaking uh, R32, which is why I traded for it. Who would have guessed? Also, there's a version of uh, the R uh, of the fucking Z28 without a blower. I mean, with a blower, this one doesn't have it. So, uh, is that uh, is he? In a different lobby? Seems like he is. No, he, he's not, okay. Maybe my garage is huge. We have a S2K race edition here, that's cool. There you go. Yeah, he's here. Hmm. Yeah, you can actually put sticker bomb rims on the dew scoops because, um, you know, hashtag just racing all those things. I mean, okay, it looks unique, but not in a great way, I would say. Oh well, you know, it's just my taste. I don't like the design of those rims. Many people don't, so uh, we have a. Um, Sort of old here. That looks sick anyways, we're gonna go ahead, raise this guy and give him the car. Then we're gonna go ahead, hop into the garage and see what, uh, you know, we are dealing with. I'm probably gonna build that thing up, but then again, it's already maxed, so, you know, I don't even know what I can do to it at this point. But I'm probably gonna keep the car, because I really do like first generation other There we go. The volume is quite low, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, thanks. Okay. 
let's go ahead and see what we got okay let's go and uh, take a look at the card now so um, got a few cards here obviously I got some like really nice cards yesterday that I'm yet to sell like HSEs fucking amazing cards but you know obviously we're not here to take a look at that let's instead take a look at the R of 32 uh, so um Let's see, that's praise. I'm not sure about the tunes on these cars, but I can might as well go ahead and show you guys the crate version of the R32, which is way more common and is sometimes mistaked by noobs. But uh, pretty much, if I just do this, it's gonna allow me to hop into the um, you know same uh, region as others can. So here's a crate one, uh, as you guys can see, you know, same body kit. The second generation of the R32s has been heavily cloned. Uh, I'm not sure about, uh, you know, the first generation ones, I think that those were mainly left alone. But here's the crate version, which is not worth nearly as much. There you go. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go over the tune. Obviously gonna put some rims on it and uh, put all the other glow as well. And then we should be good to go. There you go. So uh, let's go here. I'm gonna, go, uh, gonna show you guys a bit of a um, max setup as well. So as you guys can see. R32 is C-Class, it's a fast C-Class car, but still, it's gonna run out of uh, NOS at the very end. Pretty much uh, every car uh, below S-Class is gonna run out of uh, NOS if you don't put a Pro A bottle on it. So I just stick to, uh, so I just tend to, you know, stick the NOS bottle um, on cars that are uh, below S-Class. There you go. Okay, now I believe that the R32 has a common sense tune, what I like to call. And uh, I mean, honestly, like most of these cars, uh, people know what they're doing with them. So, uh, you know, we shouldn't exactly have uh, many problems here. These might be 1659 max. I'm not too sure about that. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and figure it out regardless. You know, just checking the stock parts to see because sometimes on turbo parts as uh, such as the intercooler and turbo pipe actually don't benefit the car. For example, this one, you know, uh, as you guys can see, it's quite heavy, but still has uh, enough power to make it, you know, worth it, I guess. There you go. So uh, I was thinking that this car was going to be like 1659 stock, but I'm maxed, not stock. It's like, um, I think it's around 1610 when stock, which is like, you know, pretty normal for a C-Class car. Obviously, it's not going to do wonders. I will very likely be uh, keeping this, as I've said. But I am gonna put some uh, nice inventory parts on it. I'm not sure if I exactly have any. I think I might have to buy the uh, underglow and all that. I'm gonna build this thing up because I do quite like it. So, uh, oh, it's uh, that's a lot of uh, different tires owned for some reason. Okay, factory wheels. Oh no, it doesn't have first place then. So all that, that if it had them, you know, they would be on the car already. So let's go ahead. See what I have here. I mean, sticker bomb T37s would be nice, but uh, I'm not exactly sure if they're gonna fit in the car too well. The rims are kind of tiny, which is a bit of a problem, but uh, uh, I, we can probably find some rims that are gonna, you know, uh, look nicer on uh, the car. Also, that underglow is a must for this car, so we're gonna go ahead, uh, stick some uh, red lines on it for the time being, and after that, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some. Uh, you know, nice inventory piles. I don't know about the awkward pause there. Anyways, I'll see you guys in uh, like a second. So yesterday, I bought an account actually, which had some really amazing inventory items on it. So uh, pretty much, uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, transfer the R32 onto this account, and uh, well, that's that underglow on the account which I bought, which is quite pretty, uh, which is quite convenient. So uh, that's great. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear the audio from the PC as well. So it's probably quite confusing, but anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead, hop into the lobby. Not the lobby, but the garage, you know, quite confused uh, uh, still. Didn't have a whole lot of sleep, so uh, there you go. Uh, here's the car, and here is the red under the glow uh, so somewhere. There you go. So um, I'm not gonna go ahead and search for uh, rims elsewhere. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick something from this inventory. I'm sure that we have something which, you know, matches the car. Uh, odds are that it's not this, but, you know, whatever. I decided I'm gonna put, you know, the lowest suspension on the car. I think they're on it already because, you know, it just looks a bit too high, you know, with um, the stage 2 suspension. So, you know, this works, I guess. 
Uh, we have these, which are, you know, like pretty common, honestly, but uh, I mean, they still do look quite nice. Obviously, we can't put that uh, headlights on it because they are, uh, you know, on uh, on fucking on the Hyundai, you know, exclusive to a Hyundai because that's what uh, racing girls is all about. Apparently, I would put some uh, first place rims on it. Wait, those are 19 ran, uh, 19 inch, like these only go up to 18. What the fuck? That's weird. I only just noticed that. Okay, I guess we can might as well put some like big rims on it then. Um, such as these, you know. I only realized it, uh, realized that now, uh, even though like, I mean, these would, these look quite big, honestly. Like, um, I might be able to put a uh, stage two on that. I mean, I might go for these, like if uh, the fucking um, paint on the rims wasn't teal, instead it would be that, that would be brilliant, but you know, I have a very limited uh, amount of uh, choice here, obviously these 18 inch only, we can might as well go to these and see, but um, yeah, others, I mean, I, I'm not gonna put, you know, fucking uh, um, gold wires on a GTR, this just doesn't... It doesn't look good, you know, good gold wires do look good on some cars, this is not one of them though. Um, so, I feel like I'm gonna go with the teal ones, just because, uh, you know, they fit. And I, I didn't know that, you know, you could actually put um, a bigger fucking, um, you know, size of rims on the car if the rims for the first place, that's quite interesting. But it's still gonna go ahead and have the lowest suspension. So here's the car, uh, looks okay. I would love to have some runs, but uh, I'm not gonna race. If, uh, you know, I don't, uh, if I can't race on the iPad, I'm not gonna race. So there's that. Um, maybe I can, you know, improvise, fucking record the screen or, you know, the recorded footage with my phone because I can't save what I record on my iPad um, to the PC, which is kind of fucking weird, but, you know, uh, that's what happens when you buy an iPad for recording. It just flat out fucking doesn't work half the time. So, uh, I mean, I like the car. It's nice. Top 25s are pretty rare. So, uh, there's that. And you know what? When iPad gets fixed, we might pink slip it. No, just just kidding. Um, who knows? Maybe. Like, not this generation. I would pink slip the other top 25 because it's been new. But uh, I guess we'll see. So, hopefully you guys like the car. I was not expecting to put first place rims. On the car, obviously, these rims aren't worth a whole lot, but I would still argue that, you know, the uh, the fucking lip of the rims does actually uh, fit the paint of the car, but hey, I guess that's, that, that could just be me. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video, and I'm sorry, uh, even though, you know, I have no reason to be sorry, because it's not like I fucking sabotaged my own fucking videos by, you know, um, fucking not being able to record it on the iPad. Oh, well, bye.